I get my mom to see me graduate. Um, that's really about it. <laughs> no, I don't really care if anybody else sees me graduate. Class of 2020 consists of a lot of challenges and obstacles that we all went through as a class, but at the end, we're all prospering and looking into the future. Due to COVID-19, high school and college seniors nationwide will be unable to have a traditional graduation. On Friday, May 8th and Sunday, May 10th, members of the Rhode Island Air National Guard traveled throughout the state to give seven airmen who have recently joined the 143rd Airlift Wing a graduation ceremony at their homes. We couldn't be prouder. She's worked so hard. Graduating with the Air Force, I think, is an, a huge honor. I think being able to have this opportunity with my new second family is very exciting. So during these times, these kids are really struggling with isolation and having to stay home and stay away from their family and friends that they care for. I think this is a big opportunity to be able to do this for these kids so that they see that we're there for them. As part of the ceremony, Brigadier General Kimberly Bauman, the senior Air Force commander in the state of Rhode Island, recorded a commencement speech. I'm very proud of each and every one of you for your willingness to serve your friends, neighbors, and community. Congratulations again, and remain optimistic for the future. The Air National Guard, they help the Rhode Island community, and uh, by me joining the Air National Guard, I hope I can help my community. I, I couldn't <laughs> be more proud of my firstborn son joining our unit. It, 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 I'm full of pride. For the Rhode Island National Guard, Staff Sergeant John Benucci. We are roadie. We are roadie. We are roadie.